The Republican Party, if you take back Senate control, what is the main thing that Mitch McConnell and his colleagues should keep in mind starting tonight and into tomorrow and in the new Congress? Well, the American people want problem solved. They want to get things done. They want to get America's economy going again. I think you'll see Republicans focus on economic growth, job creation, uh, higher paying, higher skilled jobs, health care policy. We can't repeal Obamacare while Obama is still president. He would veto it. We can't override his veto. But we can change it a lot, and it needs changing a lot. Energy policy, tax reform. Those are the kinds of things that will get our economy where we've had the weakest recovery since World War II, get our economy back on track, and that's what the American people want. And if Republican leadership says to their grassroots and to people like Rush Limbaugh, we're going to work with Barack Obama to get things done for America, will there be a backlash? Well, the American people want to get things done, and that includes Republicans of all stripes. Uh, the question really is, will Obama be willing to work with the Republicans? That's certainly never been the case in his administration. I mean, I was Republican Party chairman when Bill Clinton was president. He worked with the, we had a Republican Congress for six years, worked with them all the time. They got things done, welfare reform, the first balanced budget in a generation. I worked for Ronald Reagan. Ronald Reagan never had a Republican majority in the House, but we got big things done. Barack Obama has simply refused to do that. He's refused to lead, and he has refused to understand that he's got to work with the Congress. And hopefully that'll change, but the Republican Congress has got to pass legislation that's the right legislation. Governor Barber, let me, let me just push you on that a little bit. There's at least one very prominent or, or at least very vocal uh, Republican in the U.S. Senate, Ted Cruz, who's enunciating a rather different vision than the vision you're talking about. He's saying he wants to spend the next couple of years investigating President Obama, uh, focused on repealing Obamacare, not try to pass legislation, not try to put bills on Barack Obama's de desk, but by adopting a stance of pure confrontation over the next couple of years. What do you have to say to Ted Cruz? This is a big party, John. Uh, this is a very large party, broad, diverse. People have different opinions about this, that, and the other. Uh, I think the, the Republican Congress will repeal Obamacare, but it won't get repealed because Obama's not about to sign that. But I think that will happen, but that'll be a tiny percentage of the time. We need to spend our time on solving the problems that are on the American people's mind to talk about at the kitchen table, and that is a weak economy. We have less than 48 percent of adult Americans have a full-time job. We have record numbers of, of uh, adults working part-time. We've lost three million full-time jobs in the Obama administration, and we've replaced them with three million part-time jobs. No wonder incomes are stagnant for working and middle-class people. You know, this, this administration has been great for Wall Street, but for Main Street, the, you can't tell the recession's over. Governor Barber, I, I've referred to you as a governor a couple times now, and you are first and foremost a governor, although you're also a former party chair. You care a lot about governors. You were the head of the Republican Governors Association at one point. We're focused a lot on the Senate tonight, but as you know, there are also some big governors' races. If, as Chairman Wasserman Schultz has predicted, if it's the case that Republicans retake control of the Senate, but Democrats gain as many or more seats than Republicans do in the governorships as Republicans do in the Senate, will that be a bad night for Republicans? Well, this is going to be a good night for Republicans because we're going to be back in a position to help the American people on a national level get our country back on track. You know, two-thirds of Americans think America's going in the wrong direction under the Obama administration. They want to get us back on track. Okay. But today there are 29 Republican governors and 21 Democrat governors. Right. If the Democrats don't pick up something, they will have had about as bad a night as you can possibly have. It's better, I mean, you but I don't think there's any chance. I don't think there's any chance that the Democrats will beat more Republican governors than we pick up Democrat senators. Right. It's good. But you'd agree if if, the, if your party were to lose the governorships of say Florida and Wisconsin, two relatively high-profile races, that would be a little bit of solace for Democrats in an otherwise bad night for the Democratic Party. Well, you know, we don't want to lose Florida. Rick Scott's got a great record. Uh, Scott Walker's got a great record, but those both those races are just dead heats. Uh, in the case of Walker, been greatly outspent, uh, where the Republican governors have gone in and spent seven or eight million dollars to help him because he has been so outspent. But uh, we certainly don't want to lose those, don't expect to lose those. Governors are important. Hey, but we're going to pick up some governors, too. Hey, Governor Barber, were you born at night? 
Yeah, but not last not night. Not last night. I'm going to quiz you to show people how smart you are. We're looking at a live shot of the ballroom where we're expecting Mitch McConnell to come out and speak soon. There's a giant monitor in that ballroom, and it's showing one television network's coverage of the midterms. Guess which network it is. I don't guess it's MSNBC. No. Uh, keep going. Take a guess. I'll give you a hint. I see your I friend. Assume it must, I assume it must be Bloomberg. Okay, it should be, but it's, I see your friend Charles Krautheimer up there, so it's Fox News. It must be Fox. It must be Fox. It must so, be Gov Fox. Governor, I want to ask you about a theme that I think is going to be big tonight if you all do have a big night that you've been heavily involved in, which is, you know, after the presidential, some of your donors were a little disgruntled. They said, we gave a lot of money to Republican committees and campaigns and outside groups, and we didn't get good return on investment. I'm hearing now that a lot of donors are saying, you know what? You all proved you got a ground game. You all proved you can get good candidates nominated. Are you, are you hearing that? Is that hard, part of your hope and expectation about what might happen tonight? I think party leaders across the country, donors across the country, uh, young rising Republican stars feel like this has been a much better year for us, that the party is stronger, that the campaigns have been better. We did not nominate anybody like Todd Aiken or Richard Murdoch who said things that were so out of line that other Republicans had to either agree or disagree with them. Uh, we've got a very good bunch of candidates. But it's, it's easy to understand after people gave so much money so generously in 2012 and were very hopeful. But our donors need to understand we were still outspent this time. The radical environmentalists led by Tom Steyer, the labor unions, the left-wing Democrats, this was, we were outspent enormously, and uh, people shouldn't forget that. Patty Solis Doyle, opportunity of a lifetime to ask Kaylee Barber a question. I'm thrilled. Uh, good evening, Governor. So um, I hey, just want to ask you if you if Republicans do get the night that they expect and are predicting and you do retain control of the Senate, how is the far right wing of the party going to work with the more moderate wing of your party? Well, we are the conservative party of the United States, the Democrats are the liberal party. But I think you'll see people work together. Not everybody's going to agree on everything. I mean, this is a big party. The Democrats are a big party, too. Uh, but I think you will see a very focused agenda based on economic growth, job creation, and such things as energy policy, tax reform, trade policy, uh, getting, getting the budget back under control. Uh, that's what people can look forward to. And while they may uh, not agree on every jot and tittle, I think there is broad agreement among Republicans that we got to get America back on track again. 